Now let's talk about flat band. Oh, sorry, not flat band, but uh, accumulation. So in this case, um, I'm applying even more of a negative voltage than the flat band voltage. So I just keep on cranking my power supply to have more and more of a negative voltage uh, between the metal and the semiconductor. Um, so I'm gonna, st I'm not only compensating for the positive charge that was at the oxide interface, but I'm actually making enough negative charge on the metal that I'm actually gonna start attracting holes to this interface because there's enough force on, on those holes. Okay, so that means that if I look at the band diagram, I have more holes at the, the oxide interface now, so it looks even more p-type, so my band should bend upwards. You can see my, my valence band is now closer to the um, Fermi level, right at the interface. Okay, so that's accumulation. I'm accumulating majority carriers. Since this is p-type, the majority carriers are holes.